Hello, this is Lias from PKIAAS.io. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate setting up an OpenVPN server on an Ubuntu 20.04 server. So I have my notes over here on the left side, and I have a fresh install of Ubuntu over here on the right side. And we'll just walk through this to get the server set up. In the first part here, I have to place your CAID here, and this is something that we're going to get from PKIAS.io after we set up our certificate authority. So let's go ahead and browse to the site and log in. This is my certificate authority that we created in a previous video. For the OpenVPN server, I'd like to create a new CA. So we'll go up here and say create root CA, and we'll call this OpenVPN demo create root CA. And before we move on, I'd like to point out that up here in this drop down, we're now looking at the OpenVPN CA. And if we go down to our issued certificates, we'll notice there's nothing there. If we select the previous CA that we were using and we look at the issued certificates there, we can see all the certificates issued by that CA. I just want to point out that this is how you switch context from the certificate authority that you'd like to manage. So let's get back to our OpenVPN demo. And we want to be here in this Manage CAs section. Click on our new CA that we want to use for the OpenVPN server and click Show CA Service URLs. And you'll see some consistency with this little ID right here in some of these URLs. Just capture that, copy it to your clipboard and paste it over this string right here so that we'll be setting this CAID variable. And you can see it gets used here and here in the documentation. So let's go ahead and paste that into our terminal. And one of the things you want to do when you're setting up a VPN server is to enable IP forwarding so that the server can route across your from your VPN subnet to your other subnets. We're going to need to install a couple packages, including OpenVPN. We will need to create our Diffie-Hellman parameters and place that where the config will be expecting to see it. All right, in this next part, we're actually downloading the public key of our root CA. And in the first part of this command, we're going out and just downloading that CRT from pkiaas.io. And then in the second part of the command, we're converting that from DER to PEM format. And then we're putting that where the config below will be expecting to see it. Let's just copy that command and paste it in. And if we cat out the location that we put that, we should see the CA certificate. In this next part, we're going to create an hourly cron job to update the CRL for this CA. And what this is going to allow you to do is if you issue certificates out to your OpenVPN users, the CRL gets updated hourly. And if you revoke one of those cer certificates for one of your users to prevent them from connecting to the server, the CA or the CRL will get read by the OpenVPN server and prevent that user from connecting again. And we want to make sure that cron script is executable. We're going to run that now just to get that CRL staged before we start our OpenVPN server. And just to take a quick peek at it, if we cat out the location of that CRL, we should see it in PEM format. All right, now we're going to create our, our private key for the OpenVPN server and generate a CSR that we're going to use to go back to our new CA and sign to get our certificate for the OpenVPN server. So that placed our private key here and it output to standard out our CSR. So let's copy that into our clipboard and go back to the website. And so we're on our OpenVPN CA. We're going to create a new template. 
we'll call that OpenVPN server. We'll choose the starter template, OpenVPN server, because that will configure the key usages and extended key usages that we need. We'll save this the way it is, and we'll click on our new template and say submit CSR, paste in our CSR, submit, and now we can see that request is here in the pending request section. Click on it. I like the way that looks. Let's sign it. Okay. We should see that in issued certificates now. So let's copy that to our clipboard. And we want to put that certificate where the configuration is expecting to see it, which is here. And we'll go ahead and paste that in. And skipped over one part. We want to make sure that the private key we created is only readable by root. So let's change those permissions. And now we've got everything we need to create the actual OpenVPN configuration. And so this is just kind of a basic configuration that I put together. Things you might want to change is this subnet that the OpenVPN server is going to create when it starts and that clients will be issued IP addresses from this subnet. And you might want to look through that and see if there's anything else that you want to change in there. But here's the CRL that we set up earlier. And here's the server certificate, the private key, the CA that we created in the commands above. So let's go ahead and write that configuration. And with everything in place, we should now be able to start the OpenVPN server. And we can check and see if it's listening on the port up here from the configuration, 1194. And it sure is. And just for fun, we'll check the log and make sure that everything looks good. We can also use this systemd command to check the status of the OpenVPN server. Everything looks good. Before we wrap up, we will use this command to make sure that OpenVPN starts when the server boots. So that completes the configuration for the OpenVPN server. I'll put the commands and notes in the description of the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to issue certificates to our clients and get them to connect to the server.